Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to another exciting episode of Saga Survival brought to you by Play to Win. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about nature cores and my method for collecting them as quickly as possible. Now, nature cores are needed for a variety of upgrades. They are definitely higher tier upgrades. Just about everything that you're going to be upgrading is going to require them. I need nature cores and I need elm planks. And in order to make nature cores, well, you need turnip seeds, blueberries, uh, as well as, of course, herb seeds. Now, herb seeds are going to be the hardest portion of actually making these and, of course, artifacts. But the herb seeds are going to be the ones you're going to need. It takes eight herb seeds in order to craft one nature core. So that means, well, how do we get a lot of herb seeds? There are a number of different ways. You do have to go either into the one of the, either the pit, the tunnels, or the grotto. The grotto being from over at Chieftains. I think you can also go into the raiders, though I haven't done too many raiders, to be honest. But I am trying to collect as many nature cores as possible. And I'll just go ahead and give you a quick heads up. So as you can see here, in order to upgrade both of my campfires, I'm going to need a total of 20 nature cores. In order to upgrade my kiln, I'm going to need another 10 nature cores. In order to upgrade the mason table, I need another 12, another 10, more 10. As you can see here, I need elm and nature cores and steel grain and the more pain in the butt items in order to gather in order to start continuing upgrading. The main reason is because I've already upgraded just about everything else. As you can see here, I've already maxed out the spring table, and I do mean actually maxed out, like cannot go any higher maxed out on the apothecary table. I believe this one still can be upgraded, need some more elm planks in order to upgrade another level. This one's definitely far behind. Uh, most of my workbenches in here, including both my looms, are actually uh, maxed out, and I'm going to hurt somebody quit messaging me. It's very annoying. Oh my freaking goodness. Stop messaging me. I hate interruptions in the middle of my videos. I really do. Put all your words into one post, please. Awesome. <clears throat> so as you can see here, like I said, I was saying is I'm going to need several more in order to continue a few different upgrades. So nature cores where I'm at. So first things to get started is I'm going to show you my method for farming nature cores. And in order to do that, again, we need to hit up the chieftain. So while I go ahead and watch some ads and start running it over my next chieftains, I'll go ahead and give it a quick pause. Be right back. And we are back. So I went ahead and got the videos done and out of the way. We have now arrived at our first chieftains. Um, no, if you're familiar with the maps, it makes it a little bit easier to get around and get things done. And I'm very, very familiar with these chieftains maps. I've done enough of them that I can probably do these things with my eyes closed. I am going to check this cooking pot. It does happen to drop some hearty soups occasionally, but I actually need the charcoal, believe it or not. Eh, that doesn't help me. Who needs food? Pfft. Heading straight over. We're going to go ahead and head straight over to the, uh, the grotto. The grotto is actually what I'm after. I'm not after anything else but the grotto. I'm getting a little bit of lag here. I hate lag. Get him out of the way. Bear is going to be in our way. Hi, bear. Bye, bear. And there's the grotto. <clears throat> now, I'm skipping to the grotto because I specifically, like I said, need nature cores. I don't need anything else. So what I'm going to maximize on is collecting the herbs and the herb seeds that are located inside here. Now, there are 11 herb plants that you can pick up in here, totaling approximately between five and six herb seeds and herbs each. Good thing about if you have any sort of staff, they can one shot these enraged undeads. Uh, sadly, only I only have one staff with me, but I did bring an alternative method, which I'll show you on just a moment as soon as I finish clearing this staff's durability. I did actually get this staff from a drop within the chieftains. May need some healing. You can always heal herbs, and as you can see here, I actually brought some materials to make myself two weapons, and I'll show you which weapons those are in just a moment. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. And this one. Looks like I got one more shot on my staff. So I'll get rid of you. And now I can go ahead and show you what weapons we're going to be using. So if you do have yourselves a one-star crossbow as well as a short sword, 
You can actually use a Cruel Bludgeon one star as well in place of the short sword. It also works just as effectively to do this single method. One star crossbow, and I'm going to make, as you can see here, you can actually select which star you want to craft as long as you have it unlocked. So I'm going to go ahead and select the no star short sword. Waste of wet, less whetstones. Now that I have a short sword and a crossbow, I now have a, my combo. That's right, you can combo enemies. So if we put that enraged undead just on the corner of our map, shoot him once, switch to our short sword, smack him once. As you can see here, he didn't actually have a chance to even hit me. This does take a little bit of skill, so a little bit of finesse. I'm also told you probably cannot do this on blue stacks. I do play this game on the phone, so if you're play, uh, using blue stacks, apparently you're unable to do the combo switch weapon as easily. So if you have trouble, that may be why. Stone Golem's a little bit annoying, but I will go ahead and dispatch him because I need that area over there for the herb that it's dropping, as well as to move the Bone Breakers. Because I do not kill Bone Breakers. It is so much durability to kill one, so much running around, so much time. And time is precious to me. <clears throat> Alright, I think we got them all, so let's go ahead and start picking up our Bone Breakers. For, there should be three located on the outskirts over here. One located closer to the chest. Looks like all three are kind of gathered right there. I already got one's attention. That wasn't good. Let's go ahead and grab two. And the clay golem got in the way. I'm having a little trouble here. Let's go ahead and try again. Grab both of them. There are plenty of loop around, so feel free to, you know, loop a couple times. As long as you're hugging the walls, you can usually keep them at a distance. And as you can see here, I have a dropped up one off already. This one right here, I'm going to go ahead and drop off back over in this corner. Bam. Two of them are dropped off. One more is in the way. In order to get him out of the way, let's go ahead and move this one down. You, follow me. Bam, he is now out of the way, and I have that little corner over there in order to ditch another bone breaker. Sadly, I am wearing reinforced boots. I prefer to be wearing armored boots. They're just a little bit faster. You, follow me. Make sure you don't backtrack and pick up the other two bone breakers. So know where you're putting your bone breakers. Try to deal with one at a time. If you're good enough to deal with two at a time, great. I have had a lot of bit of trouble when you start using multiple bone breakers. Um, you'll leave them behind and you, it, it's just more problematic. It's just easier to deal with one at a time, to be honest. Here we are. We got our first storage chest, our strong box. This guy uh, may contain some items that we need, may not. RNG can be kind, it can be cruel. Luckily, like I said, we're minimizing how much durability we're using, and mostly we're here for the herbs and the herb seeds anyway. So anything we pick up aside from those is just benefit. There we go. Ha ha. Definitely need all the elm I can get. All right, we got our next bone breaker over here. He guards the trunk. He may move out a little bit, but since we went ahead and put all of our bone breakers in a good position, we don't have to worry too much about him. In fact, all we have to do is grab his attention here, swing back around. And sneak. There we go. We now have access to the trunk. And believe it or not, that's it. That's pretty much the entire grotto uh, that, that I'm going to do. I'm not going to go pick up any of the anthracite. I'm not going to mine any iron. I'm just going to cl clean up the herb, the herb seeds. And of course, check the chest for anything good. Which, mm, nothing substantial. Go ahead and heal up, pray it up, because guess what? We're off to our next chieftain. I'll go ahead and do another chieftain, and I'll go ahead and show you all again. So give me one second while I go ahead and escape this level. The quickest way to escape the level is just go ahead and close the application. It will boot you from the level. Don't have to go back through those bone breakers. So I will be right back, y'all. And we're back. All right, we're at our next chieftain. This one map, the grotto, is actually right here in front of us. We can reach this one relatively easy without having to worry too much. <laughs> Goblins. All right, again, ah, so this is the second map. This is where you locate from the north side. 
Um, again, it's going to have the same amount of mobs, going to have the same amount of bone breakers, but you are going to have to break through a palisade in order to get to the trunk. But, you know, it helps to know where everything's at. I already knew that that undead was there. There's another one in the corridor next door to here, right over there to the right. There's a clay golem that's going to run into right there. Go ahead and get him out of the way. I want to need his spot for moving bone breakers in a minute. We'll go ahead and get that undead out of the way. Come back up here. Get rid of this undead. Whoop. And I grabbed his attention. That's not what I wanted to do. So let's get a little bit of ways away from him. Because like we will take a hit from him. Not purposefully. Another undead's going to be right over here. And I missed. Uh, I missed again. Dang you, RNG. You hate me today. No, oh, that can't be helped. Occasionally you will take hits. Okay, I have a perfect run, I suppose. At least with the crossbow. If I can start making staffs, that would be great. In fact, I'm, on, I'm as you can see here, I'm almost level 66. Once I get to 66, I can actually make my own ash wands. Or not, well, I think they're ash wands, aren't they? Wands, whatever. I can make staff. Which is perfectly capable of uh, one-shotting these undead. That's actually something I look forward to. Because I feel that once I get one of those, uh, my chieftain runs are just going to become so much more fun. A lot less use of my crossbow. Which uses so many different materials, like sinew and iron bars. It takes a lot more collecting. Oh, come on. Are you really on the edge? There we go. Now, unlike the other dungeon, you will only be have to deal with two bone breakers at first per different chest that you try to unlock. Go ahead and get the small chest out of the way. I still got two more undead to kill. Oh, three more undead to kill. But two more before I get to the chest. Nope, oh, you're good. Don't need slings for once. <laughs> All right, see, there's the bone breakers hiding up in that corner. We don't have to worry about them. They cannot get to us yet, not until we bust out the palisade. There they are. Hello, bone breakers. How are y'all? Ah, eh, they're trapped. Don't worry about them. Just grab your herbs, grab your seeds. This is what we're after. Some more down there. We're going to go ahead and move down there in just a moment. i got to kill one more undead that just may be in the way. Just so we don't have to deal with them. Whatever you're moving bone breakers like me instead of killing them, you want to be able to have plenty of space to run. And if you're running into these guys while you're running around, it's not really helpful, is it? All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and move our first bone breakers. All right, there's both of them. I don't think we can move that other one out. We might have to only grab one at a time. Yep. Oh, we got both. Good. And run, run, get around. I get around. Yeah. Oh, still got one on my tail. Keep following me. Come on. Pain in the butt. You can stay up there. There. Two bone breakers dealt with. This is actually the better of the two chests. You don't have to break down the palisades to get to the strong box, which usually would have the better items. Not always the case. Sometimes that trunk has better items. Sometimes neither one of them have any anything. RNG can suck. Yeah, I'll take it. Why not? Actually, we'll put you up there. You're guaranteed keep. Stuff on the bottom I like to put put as my maybe we'll throw away at some point. Now, with these guys in the way, as you can see here, we can go actually do a little bit of leading here. They will kind of try to follow your, your lead here. We can move them away from the palisades, right in this little corner where the chests are. Sneak away, and you should be able to keep them there without having to worry. That will give us the opportunity to sneak back down here, grab over to the palisade, and do our damage. Use whatever means you like. I'll use my short sword. If they do happen to run over here, my recommendation is switch back to your crossbow and then take the final shot with the crossbow. This will prevent the bone break, give you more time to run from the bone breakers and prevent them from getting you. 
I also moved those bone breakers up there for a reason because we need more room to run. And there is one more undead we got to kill. Now that he's done it out of the way, we can go ahead and get to that trunk that those bone breakers are guarding. Watch out for that short bow or that crossbow trap. And we'll grab the first bone break. Say, follow me. Oh, I got stuck. That wasn't good. Come on. Feel free to run a couple circles. If you don't feel like you got enough distance between you and the bone breaker, hugging the walls usually helps the best. Um, if you don't feel like you have enough distance, run a couple circles around the same pillar. Eventually, you will outrun them, especially if you're wearing reinforced boots or better. In fact, I think it only takes studded boots in order to get around, but reinforced boots will do. There's another run around right here. Oh, man, my mouse is actually messed up. Well, we'll go ahead and leave him there if that be the case. He did hit us. You can do the run and sneak if he hits you. Now that he's out of the way, we can grab our loot. Aha, sweet. More elm. Just what I want. I could actually care less about most of the loot. I want the elm and I want the herb seeds. The rest of it, I can probably ditch. Awesome. So there's one more down. I'm going to think I'm going to do one more before I call this a video quit. So I'll be right back as I leave this level and start heading to my next one. Be right back. All right. We have made it to our third and final grotto. We have already done this map, so we know where to go in order to get to the grotto. Grotto's over here. Oh, that's okay. Bad spider. North or south? South. I like the south, personally. Bam. One. Two. Three. Eh. Oh, by the way, just for those who know, look, nails, and I'm leaving them behind. Why? Because I don't need them. I still have a trunk full. Let's get you out of the way. And we'll get you out of the way. And how about your buddy up here? got to be careful. There is a zombie to the north of me. Yep, there he is. See, I said, I said you got to be careful. You can grab his attention by accident. Just keep him on the edge of your map. He'll stay out of range. I don't recommend you play too close encounter with this guy. He hits like a bone breaker. Actually, so do walkers for that matter. I don't want to go that way because there are, are the bone breakers and I still need to kill one more zombie. Undead. There you are. Let's get rid of you. Oh, there he is. He saw me. I saw that happening. You're a little early there, buddy. I'll tell you what. You stay there. Get rid of you. And I'll go back for my herbs. There's one, there's two. Let's grab both. Both of you. Follow me. Where should we put you? We'll put you down here.
now those two are out of the way. That should open up our storage chest and then onto the trunk. Now one thing you have noticed, as I said, is I'm going for the nature cores, the elm planks, namely. That's why I come straight to the grotto. I want those herb seeds. Ah, fire cores. Very nice. More elm. I love it. That's why I come straight to the grotto. It has it has some of the better loot of all the chests. You can go break in some, some stone buildings all you want. This grotto. This grotto is where the good stuff's at. Not always. Again, RNG can be unkind. But since I'm not burning my weapons, going through the top side, killing everything, busting down walls. As you can see here, I can do multiple chieftain grottos by itself. Oh, there's... <laughs> this will keep me going even longer. Food. Yay. Bam, look at that. So as I said, I'm probably... Gonna, well, you know, I think I might have time for one more chieftain. So I went ahead and got some, got some good loot so far. Let's go ahead and switch off over to my ash wand. We want to burn through that as quickly as possible so it doesn't take up any extra room. And I will be right back. And here we've made it to our final chieftains. Oh, I remember this level. This one's a little bit more annoying. I'm going to get some of my liquid back. One spider. There should be two to deal with. There's a second one. And then there's a bear. Hi, bear. Bye, bear. It's a pleasure to meet you. Awesome. Here we go. Final step through the grotto before I go ahead and just jump back to my house, make a couple of nature cores. Um, and, of course, the final version of our, for our video so to give you all an example of what I tend to do. Oh. That undead saw me. Here's another. And here's another. One over here. You're not not dead, but I will kill you. Anthracite, don't need it. Give me them herbs. I haven't really seen anything too nice in these small chests yet. Mostly just healing junk. There's the bone breakers. Over here. Good boys. I am. Now we're ready to move those bone breakers. Two of them. Sweet. Don't lag on me now. Ta-da. Both bone breakers done. Out of the way. Just one clay golem to dispatch. Come on, RNG. Be good to us. Give me some more elm. 
Or how about a nature core? I actually, why don't you drop a nature core for me? Though, to be honest, I find more fire cores down here than nature cores. I'll take it. This is good stuff. This is also good stuff. This is excellent stuff. They're done and out of the way. Now we can go straight over here, deal with our final bone breakers, and get our last chest. Do, 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 do. Ta da! They are both out of the way. The loot is ours. And as you can see here, it takes me approximately about five minutes to clear and move the bone breakers out of the way in order to get to the chest. So, five minutes per grotto is not too bad to collect yourself. Five herb seeds, uh, or sorry, six herb seeds, five herbs, and some pretty decent loot. Unlike this chest, as I said, sometimes RNG just kind of screws you. This is this this food don't really need it. I guess I could restock on my liquids. As you can see, now I'm at full health. Um, I've barely even scratched the use of my crossbow and short sword that I brought with. Um, I still have partial of that staff that I picked up along the way. You will pick up more weapons, including long swords, uh, ash wands, uh, regular wands. And, you know, a lot of other fun stuff. I've also found cruel bludgeons, uh, morning stars, and short swords as well. But as you can see here, I actually picked up some awesome items. Some elm, which you're going to need lots of. These uh, herb seeds will actually get me at least three nature cores. So three nature cores and four different elm pieces are definitely worth the loot. Plus an extra fire core, some chain mail, magic dust, and liquid fire. Can't really go wrong. So as you can see here, this is my method for farming uh, nature cores. So if you need nature cores, this may be one method. It might work for you. May not. Give it a try. Who knows? But other than that, thank you all for watching, and y'all have yourselves a great day.